Jewish. On behalf of Uyghurs, I wanted to say we admire the Chinese people in China who are finally standing up against the CCP and its crimes. To be honest, it's a welcome surprise to receive condolences from Chinese people for the Uyghurs, Uyghur people who lost their lives in the Urumqi fire. For a long time, China has conducted genocide in East Turkestan through the actions of the CCP. But today, we can see the Chinese people finally waking up against their government and showing support for Uyghurs. We appreciate your humanity and your democratic value. Thank you. You may not have been aware of what's happening in East Turkestan, but now you understand the danger of your government to the Chinese people as well. You may feel silenced by the Chinese government, but that will not hold you back as you bravely overcome any obstacle with your courage and humanity. The loss and the devastation of Uyghurs and other Turkic people in East Turkestan are unbearable. More than three million Uyghurs are incarcerated in concentration camps, killed, tortured, imprisoned, and many of them are sold for organ harvesting. More than 500,000 Uyghur kids were removed from their home, separated from their parents. Under China is break the lineage, break the roots, cut the origin genocidal policies. Hundreds and thousands of Uyghurs, mostly young women, sent to forced labor slaves, separated from their homeland. Uyghur women are also widely sterilized and Uyghur population are drastically declined since 2017. As you may know, the CCP continues to commit genocide under the guise of zero COVID policy. Thousands of metal tents have been set up outside of each Uyghur city and the Uyghurs are quarantined in those camps like a farm animals. The zero COVID policy targets Han Chinese as well. But Uyghurs have suffered the most as a result of their vulnerable political and economic situation. Many Uyghur families died as a result of starvation and the lack of medical attention in either their sealed house or in quarantine camps. With the zero COVID policy of Xi Jinping, every door has been sealed. More than 100 days and approximately 44 Uyghurs died in an apartment fire in Urumqi, November 24th. These individuals were practically imprisoned, unable to escape, and left to burn and to die. These Uyghurs burned in the fire can be any of Chinese people in China because fire do not recognize your ethnicity and the Chinese people are locked down at their home as well. One of the Uyghur women screamed out for help throughout her phone before she died. She's saying, we could not open the emergency exit. It was shut. Why emergency exit? Emergency fire exit, why has to be locked? Please help, please open the door. My two kids are disappeared in the dark smoke. Please save my two other kids. I bring them to my bedroom. The fire is coming to my bedroom right now. Please, fire spread to my bedroom. Please save my kids. But no one able to help her because Everyone was imprisoned in their own home. Two Uyghur siblings studying in Turkey lost their mother and the siblings in this fire. Their father was imprisoned in China's so-called re-education camps. It has been seven years since the two siblings lost contact with their parents. 
They could not return as the Chinese police arrest any Uyghurs returning home from overseas and they put them to concentration camps to disappear. All of this happened because the China we know the, represented by the CCP. They colonized East Turkestan and the Tibet. They have treated Uyghurs and the Tibetans and other Turkic Muslims in East Turkestan as aliens and non-human. The CCP officials publicly described Uyghurs as cancerous tumors and the weeds that, we, that needs to be destroyed. Following Xi Jinping's order of absolute no mercy in 2014, Uyghurs were widely arrested and destroyed under the insane Chinese Communist government's efforts. The colonization of East Turkestan and the Tibet is a crime of Chinese state represented by the CCP. The Uyghur genocide is a horrific crime of Chinese state represented by the CCP. We hope that Chinese people can stand united with Uyghurs, Tibetans, and the Hong Kongers to denounce all the crimes of CCP. We all united together to fight against and abolish the CCP. Chinese people, Uyghurs, Hong Kongers, and the Tibetans, everyone deserve their freedom. If the Chinese people have the right to determine their own future, Uyghurs and the Tibetans also should have right to determine their own future and the right to independently decide their own destiny and restore their own independent country in this world. Thank you very much for your support.
Tibet! Freedom for Tibet! Freedom for East Turkestan! Thank you, thank you. Okay, can everyone please um, 